what's the wash up for the weekend? What did you make of it? Um, I think we had the opportunities. Um, once again, we didn't quite take them when we needed to. They did. Uh, they were more clinical. They were cleaner. I think um, wash up out of it was we, we brought the right type of game. We didn't execute exactly how we would have wanted. Uh, I think uh, Richmond, even by their own admissions, found, them, found themselves into a into a handball game that they, they didn't necessarily want to play. Um, we brought some heat uh, and some method that I think was really effective to, to show um, the way that you can actually interrupt uh, and prevent them from playing their type of game. But in the end, the sheer weight of numbers coming back on turnover, um, we really shot ourselves in the foot for, for most of the day, to be honest. Um, to be getting back to late in the game or late-ish in the game to 15, 16 points uh, and toiling away was a real positive. But um, no, it just inflicted far too much pain and, and some turnover ball we just didn't handle. Ollie Wines, likely to, he's set to miss another week, I think, with that thumb at least. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say likely or unlikely. I just don't know at this stage. Um, it didn't look great last week when he was getting around. These things can heal pretty quickly and get to a point where uh, you can manage them, but that's a little too early. He's got quite a few days to get through. The challenge of sneaking into the top eight, Monty, I suppose your game and percentage behind the Crows with GWS, I mean, the reality of probably having to win a game more than them with five to go makes it harder and harder. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, well, I mean, people at maybe not my level, people above me might take a closer look at that. Um, it's certainly not something we talk about daily. Yes, there'd be people with some eyes on it. Um, look, we just need to play well. Um, we need to bring our game, which clearly a couple of times, or uh, well, more than a couple of times, as we all know, hasn't been there. Um, but really, we, we've just got to bring the energy that we have. We've got to bring the game that we know that uh, when we're on, everyone struggles with, whether they're a top team or, or you know, just a, um, a battling team. So, yeah, it's more about how we attack the next few weeks rather than taking too much of a focus from what's happening around us. Does it get to a point, a tipping point, really, where you sort of got to go for broke? Um, not, not really. I think we, we go to play every every game the same. I think we go out to win. We we certainly have more of a, an, an attacking style than more teams than, than more of the, the teams in the competition. I think we'll be true to that right to the end. I think we've shown that it works when it comes off. We just haven't had a a great run of consistency in seeing that in games. Not not just week to week in game. Um, so yeah, I, it's up to us really how we attack it from here and. Um, that's the way we're approaching it. Houston, oh, sorry, Houston, Howard and Gray all comped, you know, pretty big knocks during the game. Most of them played out, but you're hopeful they'll be all available. Yeah, yeah, at this stage we are. Um, I haven't had any information to suggest otherwise, so yeah. Monty, Jeremy Cameron leading the Coleman. Uh, six goals against Collingwood last week. How big a threat is he? Oh, Jez is always a, a big threat. Um, I had the, the fort, I was fortunate enough to work there the last 12 months and, and see him firsthand. But, and even by their own admission, he, he'd been out of form for four, five, six weeks prior. Um, so, yeah, everyone dips in and out. He's a, he's a beast of an athlete, covers the ground well. Uh, he's got some great support around him now. There's, there's some really good um, younger forwards around him that, that get the job done too. So, um, yeah, it'd be tough. Uh, it's a different forward line, it's a taller forward line. Uh, actually, they're a taller lineup than most. So, yeah, they found their groove on the weekend, but if we just go back a, a month, they, they went winless. Um, so, I think they lost three in a row, maybe the bye in that as well. So, uh, we've all got our own form battles. Uh, they seem to find some good form on the weekend. I guess Tom Cleary would be, I mean, he normally does okay um, in that matchup. Do you think the guy gets a job again? Yeah, look, I would have thought so. Without having a really close look at the game on the weekend and where he got to and what parts of the ground he was roaming, um, I'd imagine he'd, he'd see a fair portion of time. You know, I think Tommy Jonas is, is, um, has a great track record on the guys that want to get up and move, and Jeremy is a, is a mover, is a forward. So uh, you'll have a closer look. What do you make of all the forwards? What do you make of all the fallout from Xavier Dursman's bow and arrow? Um... Well, what I do know is he's a, an outstanding young man. Um, I love what he brings. He, we're actually really, really lucky that we got him to the club and, and the life that he's been able to breathe into, into this playing group, into the coaches, um, the way he goes about it. Um, I think sometimes when there's a celebration involved, whether it be a goal or, or something that happens on an individual basis, we, we think that they're only thinking about themselves. Um, you only need to watch him play and the way he supports his teammates and 
the courage in which he gets into the back half and throws that light frame in the way of the key forwards to know that that's just not him. So, um, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's an interesting young man too. He, he, he expresses himself a bit differently to others, but um, I love the way he um, is true to how, um, who his character is. And he, look, I, I can't speak any more highly about the young man. The conversation's probably been around the down the stage that he did it. Yeah. Is there a time and a place to probably celebrate a goal? Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. And as a young player, you search for balance in your game on a number of levels. You know, when to kick, when to handle, you know, when to run, when to stay. Um, I would have thought that um, the the period of the game or the the, the time of quarter um, we were coming, we were coming pretty hard, and he had a big part to play in that. So I would have thought adrenaline would have been pumping, heart rate would have been up, and all those things that we don't appreciate. Uh, would have been occurring in in his um, in his body and in his, his head. Um, but yeah, I wasn't surprised that he did it. Some uh, double standards from some factions of the media who you know, we call and, and beg for personality in players, and then when someone displays it, they get shut down for it. Is there a degree of that? Well, what do you think? Because <laughs> um, you've got a big smile on your face as you ask a question. I, I just I find it humorous. Yeah, look, no, I shouldn't say it like that. I, look, I agree. You know that we we ask them to be this, we ask them to be that. Um, they run themselves into the ground. They compete. He's 18, 19. Um, we love it when they turn it on, but we sort of whack them and jump on them when it doesn't sit well with a couple of people. It's just, yeah, it, it is hard to handle. And, and think, put yourself in their shoes about how hard it is to stay on the the right side of the ledger with some people. Um, but we'll continue to support him. He's a great kid. Because you're into, you, you obviously bring a lot of intelligence, most weeks anyway, but given you've worked at the Giants, does Ken lean on you a little bit more? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah, there's still some, some close information, uh, some, some close bonds with both Chad and, and Vogue's also spending time there as players and coaches. Um, so, yeah, but we'll, we'll have a close look at it. We Clearly, we've got to get our game to the highest level we can to, you know, to be any threat, and um, we're really confident we can do that. With other tour forwards you're talking about Finlays um, and Himmelberg, I guess you know, they could go to the guard as well, couldn't they? Because they've kicked you know, 30 odd goals each, I think, this year. Yeah, I, again, um, Finlayson's a, an, an outstanding talent, um, has shown an ability to hit the scoreboard. His obvious talents were down back early, and he's been able to, to sort of forge ahead as a, as a forward this season. And, and I think Harry um, doesn't get a lot of credit for what he does. He's a very, very hard working, smart forward. So, um, yeah, yeah, formidable. I know you work with the back line, but um, Port's leading goalkeeper this year was Connor Rosie with 20. How much of an issue has that been for the team? Uh, well, it's, yeah, whether it's an issue, um, we're fully aware that we, we have to work pretty hard for our scores, there's no doubt about that. Um, whether he's the leading goal kicker or not, we, we need to find easier uh, and more obvious avenues to goal. We need to find some, some method that, that supports a an efficient style that we don't have to work so hard, you know, to, to get that winning score. So, um, yeah, we've got our challenges in, in front of the ball at the moment. Most of those guys are young, either coming back from injury, um, playing in a position they haven't played uh, a great deal of time in. So, yeah, we, we've got a few challenges forward of the ball, but uh, let's not lose sight of the fact that at, at times they've functioned really well and been electric. Have you got enough young talent basketball. coming through pushing for the throttle of the Maggie's had a loss yesterday? Is there enough? Pressure from the knee. Um, yeah, I, I, I'd hate to think that we jump over one all over one week from the Magpies. Been pretty good. The latter position would suggest uh, they've been very good. Um, as coaches, we get a bit picky. Um, we'd love a bit more p- coming through, absolutely. And that, that's not just the case here. That's anywhere I've I've been and um, at any club. So uh, we, we need pressure for spots. That's the number one thing that drives people to get better. There's no doubt about that. So. Um, yeah, off the weekend it would appear not, but any other week, yeah, match committee's been pretty um, pretty healthy. Is Paddy going okay now? Yeah, he's, he's improving, yeah. yeah. If there was a positive to come out of the game on the weekend, for it would have been him. Um, he knows what he needs to do and he's working towards it. Is he frustrated? Is he accepting of where he's at? Yeah, I think, well, I, I couldn't speak for him, but uh, he's aware of, of where he's at. He's uh, aware of the parts of the game that are, that are going to get him back into that team and... and and more importantly, performing well when he gets there. So, um, yeah. is, is, there is, chance, is, oh, is there a chance this weekend? Oh, I would have thought so. Yeah, I would have thought so. I mean, we have to go in um, 
you know, with um, an open, as much of a, an open mind as we can, and what gets us to play our best footy. And if he's part of that in form, um, and he takes the place of someone else that's not going so well, yeah, that's that's a weekly conversation. Speaking of the Giants, there is some talk that they possibly could be looking at Paddy at the end of the year. Where do you see his future at? Oh, look, it's not the time, to be honest. We, we, we're doing everything we can to make finals. We're doing everything we can to play our brand of footy, which we know is good enough. Um, that's where all our energies will go, not, not our list management. What about you then, Monty? How have you found the sort of frustration and roller coaster type of form in your first year here? Um, look, my, my job here is to, to try and chip away and, and get us playing the type of footy that will hold up week to week, but also play in finals. And I, I think at times we've seen it. Um, yeah, absolutely. It's frustrating that we're not, you know, we're not in that top four conversation this week, but potentially we were last week or the week before. So, um, yeah, frustrating maybe, maybe a little bit. But um, you know, I see a, a group of guys that are, are really pushing hard to be better, and, and really that's all I can ask for. So the environment's good, the coaching's good. Um, you know, I think the style that we're playing is, you know, is is exciting and, and is good. We should be happy with that. So, yeah, it's been an interesting year. It's not over yet.